Alright, so welcome back. So since now that we have CPI and FOMC over, um, this was the price action that we have got. So right now I'm looking into this one hour CB right here. And if we break down deeper, we would have a 15 minutes CB as well right here with a volume imbalance. Okay. And at the same time, on the 5 minutes, it's pretty much lined up with the 15. So I really like this area. And above, I mean like within this area here, we also have the 2nd April New Week opening gaps high. Okay. So I'm looking for this area to act as a shorting opportunity whereby we come up here and then we move it down to the weekly busy okay that's my plan for Thursday and Friday right and um, today we have a news event at around I think at um, 8 30 that will be PPI so that should set the stage for the run lower what else um, Yesterday's PA was pretty interesting because it ran through this high here, which was the past week's high, previous week's high, into this order blocks open, right? And we got there and it rejected. So right here, I'm looking at sell side right now. Um, if you want to look at SMT, you can compare these highs against Nasdaq. Nasdaq actually made a low high. So if it was the breakdown here, I would expect or I would need to see a reaction, a rejection away from this BC to continue higher. If not, I think we can break down lower. Okay, um, I do not want this BC to be completely filled. If, if so, that would signal weakness in the equities markets. Okay, I mean as equities um, referring to S&P 500 so I do not want to see this weekly BC close right I mean like the whole range close I want to see some form of a breakaway you know like a um, untapped unfilled fair value gap so that's what I'm anticipating so we have the consequent encroachment of this week right here which lies at around 41.57.75 I'm gonna annotate that down as well okay All right so over here this would serve as a this would serve as a measuring Right. If I'm bullish, I want to see price trade above this area here. And if I'm bearish, I do not want to see price trade above. So where do we have this line here? We have it right above this buy stops. Okay. So I'm curious to see um, what do we get. Right. right here. So yeah, that's where we have it and I think um, the next strong liquidity would be here so I will be only focusing on shorts okay nothing else alright so we have this small little volume imbalance right here as well so if I want to annotate it down to see what levels that we bring right around here one and two yeah these two areas here so this on uh, this volume imbalance it's I think it's gonna be pretty sensitive right um, because price closed below that so once it come comes back up I want to see this act as resistance okay pretty clear so I'm going to annotate that down as well. Mm, I'm going to 
remove the dotted line here. Daily volume imbalance. Right. So these are the two levels that I'm looking at and on the 15 minutes chart we do have this fair value gap that I'm looking at as well. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna move use the red color on this. Right. And I want to see what London do, okay? So we're almost to the end of London, right? Four to five, that's right about the end of London. So I want to see if price can reach up into this area here or maybe into this volume imbalance and then break down. Okay. Um what else? Dollar. Let's take a look at the dollar. So for dollar, since it's having some difficulty running down this sell stops, I, I'm anticipating a run on these stops and then it's going to reverse a little bit like a retracement and then it's going to run down. Okay, It's not going to be like a one way down. That's not what I'm anticipating for the dollar and if so, that supports my idea of the equities running down to the weekly um, BC before reversing back up okay yeah and I think that's it for today nothing else really all right and I think I'll see you guys on the next video happy trading and oh it's lagging okay I'll close it now